feel claustrophobic, you feel like you can't breathe. How did you handle that? I really loved it. <laughs> um, I, why I'm, did you, I could see saying I didn't mind it, but why would you, why would I'm you actively a, love it? I don't know, I'm honestly, I'm not claustrophobic. I like being in small confined spaces. And um, I like the feeling of like being crushed. And um, <laughs> if I had to choose a way to die. Not that I don't, not that I have to, but you know, when people play that game, like, would you want to drown or get killed by a shark or whatever, I usually say like, I would be suffocated because I feel like you get squeezed and then I think your body falls asleep and then you die peacefully. But like, I sleep with a dagger at, by my side. No, and, you don't. Yes, do you I really? Do. What do you mean? You have a dagger where? Where's the dagger? It's not in the it's bed. It's on my nightstand, and every week I do a shanking uh, drill <laughs> where I, I'm asleep. You're and asleep. And I imagine, like, a zombie or a murderer um, or whoever is coming to get me. Right. And, and then I, like, have a move where I, like, quickly slide it under the blanket, and then I just shank up. <laughs> Whoever's hovering over me about to kill me. It's that seems incredibly dangerous, you know? Yeah. I could just kill people just by, like, going like that. People would just disintegrate. Um, that was a good feeling. <laughs> Aubrey Plaza! Aubrey. All right, here with Aubrey Plaza. You just came off stage. Nice teeth. We're <laughs> I don't even know what's going on here with the teeth. I always keep these in my hand so that I can put them in my mouth immediately when I get up. <laughs> it's a we're, calming thing for me. We're truly backstage. In the show, you said Howie was making a lot of noise next door. Is that true? Yeah, he's so loud. I think he was crying. He was, <laughs> he was weeping really loud. <laughs> Howie was crying backstage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're breaking news right here. All right, well, thanks for talking with us. Yeah, thanks. All right, Aubrey. Okay, she's done. But I'll get someone to do it. I just have to have someone that knows how to fly. <laughs> I'll take lessons. Just I would take it. Okay. I'll learn how to fly. Okay. You know that you know you can always count on me. <laughs> All right. Jesus. <laughs> what was that look about? I just offered to save your life by flying and you did it. No, looked away. No, I love I felt terrible now. No, I marry me. <laughs> so I auditioned a couple times and got rejected. I like being rejected. It makes me feel alive. You guys had something that was fucked up but then led to something quite amazing. Yeah, there uh... my childhood <laughs> <laughs> was pretty fucked up and I think I'm doing all right now. Uh, we have a clip here from the, uh, from the movie. Uh, what can you tell us to help us with the clip? This is right before a dinosaur is about to eat me. <laughs> I don't know what's real and what's not anymore. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> no. I had no idea what was gonna happen. You don't even know where you were. I don't know where I am. <laughs> it's true, um, most of the time. People ask me about this a lot because I don't uh, look like I'd be good at basketball, but I'm pretty damn good at basketball. Do you always time your sip just when you say that? No. Basketball, why are you so good? What makes you so um, good? You just started playing young? I'm or? not like that good. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you just said you're oh, pretty I'm really good. Right, well, I'm, really I'm pretty good. <laughs> Okay, I'm really great. I'm good. I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not amazing, but I'm pretty good. And um, I play with, you know, just random people. And I really like it for the strategy. Uh, when I was in high school, I played for my church basketball league. And, um, and I was the point guard. And I used to come up with, like, interesting versions of plays. Instead of being like that, I'd be like, Sacrament of Reconciliation! And then... <laughs> We do a thing, or like the blood of Christ, which means like throw the ball to the corner and then. <laughs> I 
I don't know how this happened. I think we just, I guess we have the same taste. I cannot wait for this to be over so I can lose that girl who is just insane. She's insane. I mean, look at, I mean, I, I can't even handle it. I'm just so happy that we're no so idea. on the same page. I mean, I had no idea. Down to the shoes. I think we're just kind of so alike that it's weird. She's a psycho. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> She's a psycho. The teacher was always like smoking and she was like shoving me around and yelling at me, but I do remember the sevens. That may not have been a dance class. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It was like hop one, two, three, hop two, two, three. Right. But I haven't had to use that yet. I have it in my back pocket if I get attacked by an angry drunk mob. <laughs> I can always use that. <laughs> I need to. Now, Stay uh, back. I understand you are, you are. The sevens. <laughs> Sorry. Is this thing on? No, it's, no, it doesn't even work. Just get rid of that. We don't need it. There we go. Uh, it's fine, ladies and gentlemen, calm yourselves. I didn't have any like residual things wrong with me, but I did have a learning specialist um, that they made me meet with once a week who uh, was also a drag queen. <laughs> so um, we talked about that mostly. Now, did this really happen or is this part of the stroke? I don't know. You're I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure if I'm having one now. No, 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 just a. Uh, but. Yeah. Uh, 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 I find this fascinating. Are you on medication? Some sort of a... Oh, I'm on... S oh, no. Not for sure. <laughs> but you're feeling fine. Your health is just fine. I feel great, Dave. Okay, good. I know. I still um, get scared at night sometimes. That they're going to come for the piece of paper? Yeah. You, you, yeah. They have powers. <laughs> You've made a terrible mistake. Yeah. I, I know, I've made so many mistakes. <laughs> I know I'm going to be punished for one of them yeah. someday. Well, uh, let's talk about your anyway. hat. <laughs> I like any interview that just can, that ends with, I've made so many mistakes. <laughs> I'll be punished for yeah. them one day. Yeah, you got your nice pins there. You got Taylor Swift, we killing it. We, hashtag we killing it. And Taylor, you keep her on your chest. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did you, like, if, does she ever come watch you play? Do you think one day? Ooh, sorry. Do you think Taylor would ever come watch you play? Taylor. Taylor Swift? Oh, Taylor Swift. The pin you got going on? Taylor Swift pin? Oh, yeah. Oh, is this not your jacket? Someone, well, someone just threw it on. Oh, all right. Oh, Never mind then, you know? Her. No, I love Taylor. <laughs> love her. She's my, you know, my best Best friend. I don't ask for this. But you do sometimes. I, I saw a picture. Someone took a picture of Jessica Alba at a Lakers game. Look at you in the background. You're definitely trying to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you're not intentionally trying to get in on that action. I don't even remember that picture being taken. I, that's just my natural face at a basketball game. Oh, really? <laughs> I just can't. So you find <laughs> basketball games terrifying. I am so, God, Dwayne Wade scares the shit out of me. If I'm close to a basketball game, I freak out. You freak out. Because... Yeah, I go into a weird, I don't know, it's scary. The yeah. ball's going in there and everyone's, <laughs> they're the worst, moving so worst fast. Description. been doing with yourself? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? No. No? You're just wandering through life? You're just floating like a jellyfish? Just trying to keep it together, not do anything too stupid. Really? Um, make good decisions and be positive. Okay. <laughs> stop, who's stopping you, Aubrey Plaza? I don't know. Myself. My brain. Oh, wow. Um, that guy up here? Yeah. Is it a guy, guy or a girl up there for you, by the way? Both. 
Oh. Um, and they're always fighting. And I always tell them, you guys have to not do that. And you have to just let me do my work. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One yeah. thing I like about you is you yeah. look like you have a secret all the time. I was just actually thinking back there that I have a secret. <laughs> and I, that I shouldn't tell anybody. <laughs> and I'm not going to do it. No. no. Not now. Mm -mm. Not tonight. Because, wait a second. What? <laughs> because... Why? I'm really bad at paying my bills. I actually, the only way I can like pay my bills, because I'm afraid of mail. Um. Should I ask, why are you afraid of mail? Oh, I don't know. It's just, I have like an anxiety about opening envelopes. So the only way I can do it is <laughs> I like put all of my mail, I let it build up for like a couple weeks and then I put it all in a sack or a, or a pile <laughs> and I take it to work and then I, sit on the ground and then I turn all the lights off and light a candle and then I open my mail in the dark. <laughs> Which is the only way I can open my mail. You're the most fascinating person I've talked to in quite a long time. Oh, okay. I'm serious, this is really good stuff. Sorry. I'm just, I wanna know more about you. Please, ask me anything. <laughs> I wanna tell you everything. Yes, you will. Now I'm afraid. Okay. I'm afraid. Will you come back? Because I want to find out more. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> right. He was in jail, and then when he got out, he painted a naked picture of me. He painted a naked picture of you? No. He, he painted a... <laughs> he painted a picture of a naked woman, and then he, said it, he says it's me. Right. And that he gave, he gave her Asian eyes. Uh -huh. And then his feet. And then. I just brought her a painting fully shut. I never seen your ass in real life. I made the butt really big, and I made your eyes more Asian. That's me? And he, he asked if he could bring over a housewarming gift for me. I've never met him before in my life. He showed up to my house in a white suit with no shoes on, barefoot, and gave me a, pa a painting on a piece of wood that's bigger than me that is just a naked me. <laughs> and then just gave it to me, and then he went outside and jumped in my pool. And then he left. Can I get one hug, warm hug before? All right. I love you. Love you too. <gasps> oh my God! Old people. <laughs> I keep talking about I'm gonna live forever. This is very creepy, the kid pushing an old woman on a wheelchair down a hill, up and into a shallow grave. Goodbye, Grandma. I really want to see this movie. This looks great. You look dangerous. I'm sorry. I can't you do, help you, it. Do you ever, ever tell me that before, that you look kind of like a dangerous person? Yes. Yeah, really? sure. I mean, I think it's something to do with the tone of my voice and... Something in my eyes or Better bite. You need batteries. And I would have that. Don't hit yourself in the I don't want the other eye to I'll hit myself when I want to. Um and Aubrey, um, as April, um, you have taken disaffected to new heights or lows. I'm not sure which. <laughs> and I, I admire it every time I watch you on screen and I was just wondering, is there any kind of method to that or does does that come naturally? Um yeah, I guess it comes naturally. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I sold my soul to the devil. This is the first time I'm wearing a long dress, so soak it in, America. Get used to this shit. How is your skin handling it, the reaction to the expensive fabric? Um, my half Puerto Rican Delaware skin is like, what the f is happening right now? How are you two friends? Um, How do we meet? I went on Kathy's show and she um, pierced my ears on live television. I think I'm brave. I, you're very brave. Don't, don't do it, don't do it! What are you talking about? Okay, now you have a keyhole. Beautifully done! I did, I pierced her ear on live television. Uh, and I, I went a little high, so I don't want to say I maimed her. She missed the mark. But I, I actually maimed her. She almost got my cartilage. It could have been very dangerous. But the whole time she was on my show, she just kept saying, can I meet Joan River? No, uh, you learn about like cattle and animal husbandry and stuff like That's that. That's right. 
Yeah. Um, and you know, I did some some stuff. I got into that. You know, I've sheared some sheep in my day, and um, no, seriously, you've sheared sheep. Yeah. Do they fight back when you're sharing them? No, they sing and they tell you stories. <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> they're really sweet. That, let's just Do say. Do you ride the horse through a car wash? Is I what I'm naked. asking. I'm naked on the horse. What? No, nothing. What did you say? Nothing. Did you just say you're naked on the horse? It's yeah, maybe. I don't know. Wait so you're both see. bareback. We're both bareback. <laughs> the horse is riding me. I mean. <laughs> No, 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 they're asking me to rap. You go to hell. I want to hear, hear about the naked horse riding. He's telling me to rap. I thought you knew how to produce a television show. She's talking about riding a horse naked. And you're like, let's go okay, to commercial. Okay, everybody calm down. Thank you to the Young Hollywood Awards and to all the young people out there. Keep being young. And, um, um you old people. Um, old people. <laughs> old people can go f themselves. Why did you? I'm, I'm going to live forever, and then I walked off. What should I text my future college roommate? That's a really good question, Julie Powers. Um, I would text her something like, "Hey, what's up? I'm so psyched to meet you. P.S. Uh, Satan is my number one. Uh, P.P.S." Um, keep your <laughs> away from my <laughs> Who wants to go first? She can. Hook me up, baby. Hook it up. Am I gonna get an idea? <laughs> I can use a little cocktail. Let's just get this over with. Ready? Um, do you think going to an all girls Catholic school messed you up in any way? Oh, how long do we have? <laughs> did you Art. ever consider becoming a nun? I did. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> my first job was in a convent. Oh my god. I was a receptionist. <laughs> it's called a fortress. I answered the phones, and it was mostly the shoe cobbler. <laughs> this is a true story, am I right? It's yeah. true? Oh my god, who are you?